Spring break is coming up, and if you're looking for a place to go without hopping on a plane or just for a weekend getaway, there are incredible places to see right here in Minnesota. We're joined this morning by Hayes Scriven live at the Split Rock Lighthouse in Two Harbors. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Now, you bet you have a better view than I do this morning. Yeah, the, the view up here isn't uh, isn't too bad this morning. So wow, that is stunning. Glad to. Thanks for showing that to us. Feel almost feels like we're right there with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a slate of new programs kicking off in March. Can you tell us about the daily pop up history presentations? Yeah, so we wanted to add like a, something new to the experience when pe people come to visit us, especially now that we're starting to open things back up a little bit more. And we're going to do these small mini history presentations uh, throughout the day here at Split Rock. They're going to cover anything from really specific uh, Split Rock history, or it's going to be more North Shore, Minnesota based as well. So it sh there should be something there for everybody. Absolutely. What is the photography exhibit? Yeah, so <laughs> I've joked with people that photography and split rock go together like peanut butter and jelly. Like they're just the, the best thing. And so what we wanted to do is highlight some of the area's uh, photographers. And we're going to be doing this on a monthly rotating uh, program where photographers from the area will come in, show off their work. Um, and once again, just adding in another uh, great experience here at split rock. and. Uh, we hope to be able to show not just split rock photos, but also wildlife, landscape, that, that kind of stuff. And it should add another, you know, piece of fun, fun time here at Split Rock. Yeah, that's so cool because there are so many things to see around there. And I know every time I head up to the North Shore, I take pictures and stop at the Split Rock Lighthouse. And I'm always looking for a different angle or different idea. So it's a great way for people to, uh, to get some ideas. Now, I understand there's also a chance to meet one of the artists. Yeah, so all the artists will be here at least one day a week. Most of them are signing up for multiple days. Um, and the first one that we have coming up uh, starting actually on March 1st is uh, Christian Dahlbeck, who's known for his water photography. Um, so he will be here on site March 1st, 13th and 30th all day. So if you have questions with him or you know, want to talk like really specific things about how he does his work, he'll be here to answer all those questions and see some of his most recent stuff that he's uh, taken on the shore. Such a neat opportunity. Now, you also have the Keepers Tour, which brings people inside the lighthouse. That is so special. Tell us a little bit more about uh, that opportunity. Yeah, so because of uh, the pandemic, we, we're still not opening the tower and the keeper's home to general admission, but we are gonna start doing these specialty keepers tours. And we're gonna start them a little bit earlier uh, in the day, uh, in, the, in our early season, because we wanna, uh, we have to limit the number of people coming through. But this was designed to be like a completely different experience than people have had here at, uh, at Split Rock before, where we're actually talking about the, the families and the, and the people that lived here on site. And you're gonna hear what, what it was like on site uh, through their eyes and through what they saw and be able to hear that through this tour and you'll be able to get into the tower and the home. And that's the only way we're allowing people into the tower because it's such a small space. We can't social sure. distance up here in large groups. And so um, the buildings are closed. This will be the only way to get in the tower, but it's a completely different experience. So if you've come here, you've had this tour before or a tour here before, this is a completely different experience. You'll hear it from another side and you should be able to develop a more personal connection with the people that lived here. And that's what we all want to do with histories. We want to give people a, a better personal connection with their past. I love that offering that spectacular view that inside look, but also learning so much. Sounds like great opportunities. Um, thank you so much for sharing all of that with us this morning, Hayes. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, we'll have more information about that on our website. Thanks again.